We're back on the screen team. And of course, this is Tracy's show. Tracy has picked the, the movies for us. So we just got done reviewing the movie Mom and Dad. We're going to be talking about Jumanji here in a few minutes. But first up, we have got a movie called Overboard. It's a movie starring Anna Ferris, And this is a movie that is a remake of the Overboard that was uh, released in the 1980s with who? With Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. And oh my gosh, I know uh, this. Uh, Her- Douglas? Is oh, no, 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 this is fun. Oh my gosh. You've got, I can't you've, believe I you've don't got know the, this. you've got the Kurt right. R- 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 Russell. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why do I not know this? I love teasing you, Tracy. This is awesome. <laughs> um, so had you seen the first one from the eighties? I loved the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, which is why I'm mad at myself for not remembering his name. <laughs> I feel like he should be offended now, but it, so we didn't have cable till I was 15, yeah. and this was one of the movies that we owned. And so I probably know every line. And so watching the new one, we had to watch the first one and then watch the second one so we could compare immediately. So were you excited when you heard that they were going to release a brand new Overboard this year? Or were you kind of like, no, 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 don't touch it? I mean, Well, a lot of remakes are just awful. Mm-hmm. But this one was... I thought it was done very well. It was interesting that they switched the genders on it. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting that they added some diversity. The the male character is Hispanic, Mm -hmm. and there a lot of the characters were, and you know that wasn't something. I don't think it was one diverse character in the original. Yeah, but this was interesting to see, and it was it was neat because he ended up working on a construction site that used his company's supplies. Right, and so he got that other perspective. To see. So we've got Anna Ferris's character. She is, um, she she works like three or four jobs, which you know something, you know, yes. which you know about. She's got uh, uh, three kids. She is a uh, single mother. She is working her butt off and she's going to school to be a nurse, correct? Yes. Um, so there's a lot on her plate. Which I, I liked that too because they made her be, so, you know, you're sympathetic to her. Sure. In the original movie, which I have just learned... He's not seen this. You know, wh- why do you got to point that out? Do, do I point out your, you know? What, mis- that I haven't seen a movie? Because, come yeah. on, I've seen them all. D- did I make fun of you when you didn't know Kurt Russell's name, Tracy? Yes. I did. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you're sympathetic to her character. She's really trying. She needs this extra help from somebody so that she can achieve her goal. Sure. In the original with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, you find out that he is working a second job, but he's also going out and drinking with his friends. And yeah. you're, it's very obvious in the beginning that he neglected his children and they were not taken care of as well as they should have been. So you like these people better. You do. You really do. I um, I enjoyed uh, both Anna Ferris and uh, Eugenio Derbez. I thought uh, they were both uh, very likable, like you said. Uh, um, I thought uh, they just had... A nice, good quality about him, you know? Um, But did you like the movie? No. No, I didn't like the movie. Um, And the reason was is because this is a comedy, and I kind of felt like the jokes didn't hit as strong as they should. Um, I wasn't looking for anything um, risque. I wasn't looking for anything, uh, you know, uh, I wasn't looking for any of those, you know, college-type comedy humor things. I I knew what I was getting into, but I felt like the, the jokes just didn't hit for me. Well, there's a reason. Okay, because, please. Because you didn't see the first one. So that's what the problem is. If you see, <clears throat> I, I highly recommend, if you've not seen the first one, watch it first. There are scenes that are shot almost identical. There's lines, ex- especially, that are almost identical. Mm-hmm. But it's enough of a difference that you can appreciate where this director and writer was coming from. Sure. So you told me off mic, you're kind of uh, on Anna Ferris. You, you, I... You're kind of midway I like with her. The, the scary movies. She kind of just came off ridiculous. But what did you think about her performance in this? Did you did you come around? Were you like, oh, I kind of, and it's okay. Yeah, I did like her, and and I loved this ending. Now you didn't see the first ending. That's true. So I'll go ahead and spoil that one. It's if you haven't seen it, it's 1980s. I'm sorry for you. So <laughs> in the original, she jumps off the boat he jumps off the boat they meet in the water he says i can't believe you gave all this up for me and she said well it's mine the money the boat it's all mine right see again line for line i can do this so (laughs) and you know the kids are excited they have all this money Mm -hmm. and in this one 
they both jump off the boat and he has to make the decision, which was another interesting element to put in there. Sure. And he chooses her and then they find out that he has the boat and it's sixty million dollars and That's an expensive boat, my goodness. Yeah, but it was Man. nice that he he had that option, he gave it up. To be with her. Yeah. You know, I did kind of uh, rip on the comedy, but the the scenes that I liked most are, which I kind of laughed at the most, were the scenes where Eugene's character was, uh, you know, he was, uh, he had to work construction. Yes. And uh, he was getting razzed by all his, you know, buddies and, and stuff like that. Those were the scenes to me that I thought was kind of, uh, were, were very humorous to me. I enjoyed those scenes a lot. Um, would you see this again? I would. All right. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Tracy. You've got a bunch of friends coming over for a huge party. You want to put on Overboard. Do you put on the Goldie Hawn version? Ooh. Do you put on the Anna Ferris version? Which one do you do? Now, my personally, I like the original. Mm -hmm. Just It's nostalgic for me because it was a big part of my childhood. We had sure. like five movies, so that was one of them. <laughs> but I think to share with others, I put on the Anna Ferris one. Okay. Interesting. I thought you were going to go the other route. See, if the party's long enough, I'll just play them both. <laughs> well, that wasn't part of the rules, Tracy. Well. I said I'm... you had to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being strict with my rules here. Um, all right. So, Overboard, Anna Ferris, um, you'd give this, uh, you definitely give this a uh, recommendation to our folks yes. out there. All right. Uh, the movie's called Overboard, starring Anna Ferris, and you can check it out today. We're going to be back with Tracy. We're going to be reviewing Jumanji with The Rock. Dwayne Johnson It's coming your way next right here on the screen team.